Now, a long time subscriber, uh, Gabe, aka Fat Guy with a Katana, brought my attention to this. Now, this is a group on Facebook, and they're just really, really into cats, <laughs> as you can see. But they have a petition, and this is their website, and you can see that they've currently got 74,765 signatures. And this is to basically, they want to have air gun licensing of some sort because this lady's cat got shot. So, yeah, that's about it, really. The only thing I would say is that they were made a bit of a mistake because, I mean, they've done quite well. 74,000 signatures, yeah, that's pretty good. And, you know, if it gets to 100,000, you'd think they could get um, this question asked in Parliament. But unfortunately, they didn't put it on the .gov website, so it's completely inadmissible. But anyway, they've done a video, so let's see what they've got to say for themselves. Now, first off, I would say, of course, it's terrible that cats are getting shot. But the intro to this video has got reasonably high production values. I'm quite impressed. Although, you know, air rifles don't just sound like that. And whoever shot that group is a terrible shot. And I don't believe that that person could possibly shoot a cat because they would just miss it every single time. But <laughs> there we are. Let's see what else she's got to say. 202 cats were reported as being shot with air guns in 2016. Many didn't survive. Those that do, like my Billy, are left with life-changing injuries. My cat Billy was shot seven times. It took emergency treatment and care to save his life. Cats are unprotected in England and Wales where these lethal weapons are unlicensed. Now I know I've been taking the mick a little bit, but she's obviously a sweet girl, and she's had something terrible happen to her cat, and she just thinks, oh, you know, let's do something about it. But the trouble is, you get this a lot with lefties, where they present a problem, and we all agree it's a problem, and it's a terrible thing that's happened, whether it be a cat being shot, or it's a mass shooting, or whatever it is, and they say, therefore, we need the government to get involved, and to ban, or regulate, or whatever, to solve the problem. But the trouble is that, uh, you know, that doesn't work. And we can see that in Scotland with air gun licensing, where, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of rifles in circulation. The only people who will register those guns are the very people who won't do any harm with them in the first place. But moreover, you know, if a cat had been shot with a crossbow, or, I hate to say, a longbow, then that cat wouldn't have just have its eyes sewn up. It would be dead. I mean, a 70-pound longbow, which nobody's proposing should be licensed you know, can kill an elk. So, yeah, there's not a massive argument to be had here. Please will you sign our petition to stop unlicensed air guns? Sign our petition now. Here's an idea. Now, I, I like cats, first and foremost, you know. I had a cat called Moses that we bottle-fed when he was about 10 days old. And, you know, I had to train him up, teach him how to hunt. And it's great. I love seeing them hunt. I love seeing the way that cats stalk and so on and so forth. But, but, there's a problem here. Cats kill around 6 million birds every year in the UK. And, well, I mean, they're all protected, but many of them are songbirds that genuinely are, you know, they're under threat. I mean, uh, also starlings as well. I mean, when I was a boy, starlings were, were ubiquitous. I used to shoot them on a regular basis as pests. And now they're protected because their numbers are so low. So cats are having a devastating effect on um, the, the bird populations in this country. So... I'll tell you what we can. I propose. What I propose is either, you know, they forget about this petition and forget about this silliness about air gun licensing, or we find a solution that upholds everybody's rights and makes the cats safe. That is, what we do is we make it a legal requirement for cats to be kept indoors. Then they won't be outside and won't be able to get shot by anyone. And at the same time, in one foul swoop, 
they won't be able to kill any of these birds. There we go. Problem solved. I suppose the only addition you could add to that is we could go to old Australian style and have people shoot them on sight. But really, as I said, it's a bit irritating with these things because people see a problem and they automatically assume that the, the, the solution is to take away somebody's rights rather than, I don't know, just look at the, the causes of problems. You know, there's obviously, yeah, some scallies in our neighbourhood who's beha- are behaving reprehensibly. Do something about that. Why are these young people bored running around shooting cats with air rifles? Maybe they need a local club. Anyway, rant over. I'm out.